Welcome to this presentation of vManager, VCOM Solutions Telecom Expense Management Software. With vManager, your company is able to gain better visibility, clarity, and control into your telecom spend. Additionally, with our operations module, you're able to view your orders and trouble tickets, as well as your inventory all in one location. Finally, with our AP posting and accounting modules, we're able to take away the often manual process of coding your telecom bills. This is an overview of vManager. We're currently viewing the home page of vManager, which is divided into two sections. The upper portion, known as the dashboard module, is the reporting engine for vManager. While the lower area, known as the account management module, houses all of our operational as well as accounting information. Let's get started by looking at one of the dashboards. We're currently viewing the VCOM billing trend. This shows your total telecom spend for the last 12 months. Let's drill into February to see what we spent. I'm now presented with charges by charge type. You'll see I have monthly recurring charges, usage, regulatory, etc. We can drill into monthly recurring charges. And I'm now presented with my charges by product class. Here I have my local lines, my local circuits, feature charges, etc. We'll drill into features to see what we spent for the month on our features. I'm now viewing my circuit features as well as the measured business line features. If I drill into measured business line features, you'll see I'm now presented with a report showing what I spent on every individual telephone number, what feature was billed, and how much. Note that all reports in vManager are exportable into Excel, which means that I can not only export this data into Excel, but also at any level in any chart. So, for example, if someone asked me to present a report of all my usage for the month, I could simply click here and then export it to Excel and I'd get a report by phone number of all my usage including minutes and number of calls and of course amount billed. Okay, so that's a brief overview of how the dashboards work. We have a complete library of dashboard reports in vManager. Note that I can create separate dashboards. I can have a calls dashboard with three separate reports. For example, my international calls, inner office calls, or inventory with zero usage. I have an accounting dashboard. I can create as many dashboards as I want. We have well over 75 reports available in vManager and our library is growing every day. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the dashboard module. Next, let's look at the account management module. The first tab of the account management module is the orders and cases tab. This shows all orders to add, change, or remove services that you may have placed. Additionally, it shows all your trouble tickets or cases account inquiries or billing cases. Let's pull up an order. Here you see we're viewing an order for a local DS1 circuit or a PRI. At the top I have various order header information such as the service order date, the date the order was opened, the quantity, the carrier, etc. I then have a series of tabs that give me more information regarding the order. The order attributes tab shows me important dates and other information related to the order things such as the FOC date or the date the circuit will be turned up. On the Notes tab, I have all the notes pertaining to the order that were entered, both by VCOM project coordinators as well as by customers. To view a note, I simply click it. All communications in one place. The Services tab shows the details regarding the inventory items being provisioned. So you'll see I have the service type, the term, Elect facility ID, information such as the number of digits to send, as well as all the features that will be on the line. We have other tabs as well, such as order contacts or the people that we should communicate with during the provisioning of the order, any attached files that may pertain to the order, and any related orders that need to be worked in conjunction with this order. So that's a brief overview of the orders in vManager. Next, let's look at the inventory tab. The inventory tab shows all telecom related inventory all in one place. Note you can filter by your account or location or by service type to quickly gain the information you need. No more need to rely on spreadsheets. Let's pull up this PRI. Here we're looking at this inventory item. We have all the attributes that were used to provision the circuit, all available quickly. We also have all the features that ride on this circuit. At the top, we have a series of tabs. Let's look at related inventory. This tab displays all the inventory that rides on this circuit. In this case, 
the DID ranges. So in one spot, you have all the information you need to know what DID ranges terminate on this circuit. We also have a cost center assignment tab, which will show what cost centers are assigned to this circuit, any related trouble tickets that have ever been opened on this circuit, any related orders that have been opened for this circuit, as well as all your charges. Here we're looking at the, the charges from invoice date of 212. You can see I have in one snapshot all the charges that I've got on this circuit and what it's costing me, my total monthly and my total usage. And I can also look back at previous months at the click of a button. So that's a brief overview of the inventory module. Next, let's look at VAnalyzer. VAnalyzer is an expense management tool which gives me the ability to view my total telecom spend month over month broken out by our various product groups. The power of VAnalyzer is that I'm able to identify spikes in my spend from one month to the next or trends over the year. So for example I can drill into LD and I can identify in my local long distance usage where I may have had a jump. Note here a $700 jump from January to February. I can further drill down into our product types, in this case the different call types, and I can even drill down further to get the individual phone numbers that made the calls. With the power of the analyzer, you're able to quickly identify the reasons behind a spike in an invoice. I'll cover the cost center and AP posting tabs a little later when I go over the accounting module. The locations tab shows all locations you have telecom services with. By entering your locations, you're able to associate them to inventory items. The Employees tab shows all employees in the enterprise. We enter them into vManager so that we can assign them their inventory. The benefit being that should the employee leave, you know exactly what inventory items need to be disconnected. Additionally, we can store customized attributes for each employee that can be leveraged in AP posting files or any other reporting. The References tab is a virtual Rolodex that shows all your important contacts at VCOM Solutions, such as your account executive, customer relationship manager, and the customer service phone number. The Documents tab houses all your telecom-related contracts and other important documents. No more need to rummage through filing cabinets looking for that two-year-old service agreement that was signed on that circuit to determine when it's up. It's all available right here. Finally, the Invoices tab shows all of your invoices. You can drill in and you'll get a consistent view of your invoice across different carriers. Again, you can drill in and we can look at our local charges, we can view our local line charges, we can look at our flat rate business lines, and you'll see I have all the numbers and exactly what I spent. We also have the ability to bring in third-party invoices into vManager. Here's a T-Mobile wireless invoice. Again, I can drill down by the charge types, so I can look at my data services plans, and I have BlackBerry, and here's what I'm paying for each of my individual lines for my BlackBerry data plan. I can also view by line type, so I can drill into cellular and pick a specific phone number. It's exactly what I'm paying, the total charges for that phone number. So I have two views available. Next, we're going to review the accounting functionality in vManager, which is comprised of the two tabs, Cost Centers and AP Posting. The Cost Centers tab lists all your cost centers. Drilling into one will show the inventory items that are assigned to that cost center, as well as what percent they are allocated to that cost center. Once we have all your cost centers entered and all the allocations assigned, we're then able to generate an AP posting file for you on a monthly basis. The AP posting file can be in any format that you require and will be automatically generated at invoice load time. If there are any errors, those will be displayed as well. You can simply fix the errors and rerun the batch. This eliminates the need for manually coding your telecom invoices. We can also integrate with your AP system directly, eliminating any manual entry. So that's an order overview of vManager. I encourage you to visit our other demonstrations on our website that drill more in-depth into the different areas of functionality available in vManager, as well as some great demos. Thank you.